Park Ranger LB, what you up to, man, huh? Oh, I was about to take my newest invention to the Dino Science Fair to win first prize. Oh, that sounds like <laughs> fun. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. cool there, huh? Hey, what are you doing with that green blanket? Oh, this green blanket. This is my newest invention that I'm going to take to the Dino Science Fair and I'm going to win the grand prize. <laughs> well... What's so exciting about a green blanket? It's actually my brand new invisibility disappearing dinosaur cloak that I can use to hide from the dinosaurs. That green screen stuff only works in movies and TV shows. Oh, no, no, this is no ordinary green screen. I mean, this is a dinosaur cloak, okay? Mm. Just watch this, huh? Check this out. Here, let me get my cloak on right here real quickly, okay? Here we go. Where'd it go? Here we go, here we go. Okay. I don't see any disappearing Oh, yet. it's coming, it's coming. You hold on now. Yeah. Now I gotta put on my special disappearing green uh, dinosaur cloak helmet. There we go, all ready. You watch this, here. I take this remote and I wrap myself in green and click. See, look, you can't see, see me see now, legs. huh? <laughs> what? My legs! <laughs> oh man, that's no good. Click. Well, it's still going to win first prize, grand prize at the Dino Science Fair, okay? Yeah, just right. Know. Well, what's so special about your science fair project, huh? It's a holographic projector! A holographic projector? What, are yeah. the dinosaurs going to watch movies with that or something? Oh, no, it's used to scare away T-Rex. Oh, wait, how is that going to scare away T-Rex? Just a little hologram. T-Rex isn't going to be scared I'll of that. show you. Oh, watch what's, this. What's that going to do down there? <gasps> raptor! <laughs> it's a raptor! It's a raptor! Oh, it's get no, rid of the raptor! Do, 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 do. I can't, it's going to eat us! Oh, Look out no. for Ranger Bee! What, what? Uh -huh, hey, gotcha. What's going on? What? Oh, man. That was not scary at all. It was just yeah, a little right. fake raptor. Okay. Why'd you go? Well, okay, okay. Well, maybe that'll work if you got some other dinosaurs in there. So. <gasps> Ooh, look! It's almost time for the science fair to begin. We better head out. Come on, let's go to the truck and go! Go, go, go! To the science fair, yeah! D-Rex! Quick eye. Okay. I don't know what T-Rex is doing out here now. I mean, ever since the Dino Master took down our paddock fences, with a little bit of my help, T-Rex is just running all over the place, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, we gotta come up with a plan for how to get past T-Rex and get over to the truck. And if we don't hurry, we're gonna miss the science fair and I'm not gonna be able to win the grand prize. Uh, okay, no, we need a plan. Need. Okay, well, um, think, 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 think. Come on, Minnie Einstein. Think, I know you have it in there. What are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? I got an idea. What? What if I go undercover in the invisibility cloak? What, wait, wait, you're gonna go out there? Yeah, cause what? I'm small. You know? Well, I guess, you know, that could work. You're smaller. Yeah. You might fit underneath this without your legs sticking out like mine did. Okay. All right. Well, that could work. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to get to the truck? Uh... Oh, I got an idea. What? How about you distract T-Rex with this? I'm going to get rid of T-Rex with a dome? That's not going to work. No, no, no. The projector, you know, the dino hologram, you know. But that was a raptor. T-Rex isn't going to be scared of a, a raptor, especially not a holographic raptor. Look at all these dinosaurs. See, we got T-Rex, Dilophosaurus, Brachiosaurus. Oh, <laughs> I'll just put another T-Rex up there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to go. Ooh, yo, we got to hurry up, man. The science fair is going to be starting here any minute. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. What? That the dinosaurs are only up there for 30 seconds, so you gotta be quick. On the on the projector? Yeah. 30 seconds. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's do it, man. Okay. So I can't think of anything else. So you're gonna here. have to hurry. Let's, okay, here, you okay. take this. Switch your room. Yeah, you do here. You, do that, and you take that. Okay. okay. And then, all right. And then get suited up there and let's go, okay? Okay. Okay, <laughs> Park Ranger OB. Watch this, T Rex. I'm about to turn invisible. It worked. It worked. Okay, that T-Rex is not going to see you. Yeah, there you go. Stay low so he doesn't see you. It's working. Stay low. You're about halfway now. Okay, keep going. You're almost there. Okay, watch out. Slow down. Slow down. You're going too fast. Yeah, make a run for it. There you go. Oh, no. Sable. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, shh. Okay. 
Park Ranger will be made it into the truck. Guess now I'm gonna have to try out this whole hologram projector dome and see if it works. Okay, here goes. Okay, T-Rex, just ignore me now. Take this, T-Rex. Whoa, that's a big T-Rex hologram there. Ooh, I've only got 30 seconds. I gotta get out of here. Okay, T-Rexes, y'all just ignore me. Go about your fighting there. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Look out, Burger and Joby. It worked. It worked. It worked. We made it, okay? Okay, we gotta get out of here, okay? Okay, okay come on. Oh, shoot, man. Oh, boy, look at that. Okay, all right. Okay, put your seatbelt on. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll leave T-Rex behind and go to the science fair, okay? Yeah, go. It's not starting. Where's the key? It can't What's start. Going? What's, What's going on? The engine won't start. Why is that starting? Where's the key? Where's the key? I don't have the key, man. Don't you have the key? No, I okay, don't have the key. I think I left it in inside Dino HQ. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, man. Okay, all right. So you're going to have to go get it. No, 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 no. That's okay. You can go. No, no, no. Why not you? You're the younger park ranger, so I'll let you go do it, okay? Yeah, you're the old man park ranger, you know? No, no, no. That's the senior park ranger, okay? Oh. Okay, fine. I'll go get it. But how am I supposed to get it? Because... The holographic projector isn't projecting a T-Rex anymore to distract T-Rex because you designed it to run out after 30 seconds, okay? So what am I supposed to do? I can't get past T-Rex now. Mm, yeah, we can come up with another idea oh, here. Oh, idea! What, what, what? Okay, you can use this. The cloak? Yeah. But you said I'm too big for the cloak. My legs stick out of the bottom there. Oh, you can just crouch down. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'll go do it, I'll go do it. I do everything myself here, okay? Okay, all right, here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, no, oh, here we go. Okay, here, give me that cloak there, huh? Here, okay, I'll go for it. Ooh, there's a T-Rex. Door, stop it, man. Okay, okay, gotta get my cloak on here. Okay, crouch down low. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, no, no, that's not right. Come on, come on, cloak, come on. Don't fail me now. Yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, all right, here we go. Ooh, yeah, I'm disappearing now, huh, T-Rex? Watch this. <laughs> okay, T-Rex, you don't see me now, do you, huh? All right, that thing went dead already, okay. Almost there. Bye, T-Rex, I'll be back. Okay, T-Rex, you ready for this? I'm gonna disappear now. <laughs> you can't see me, can you, T-Rex? Because I'm invisible. <laughs> uh -oh. right, there we go. Hey, but well, look, I got the keys to the truck, and we're leaving, okay? <laughs> Here we go, T-Rex, see ya. Oh, this thing is so awesome. Hey, T-Rex, you can't even see me, huh? <laughs> look, I can even do a little dance. You can't see me. <laughs> oh, T-Rex, you think you're so smart. Park Ranger. What, Park Ranger will be? Your cloak's not working. What, what's all the hubbub about, huh? T-Rex can't see me. No, 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 your cloak's not working. It's not working. <gasps> T-Rex, you can see me. I'm not invisible anymore. Ah, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Park Ranger will be. The cloak failed. The battery must have gone dead. Man, what now? Um, I need an idea. Cause T-Rex is gonna get me. I, I know, I know, I know. Um, deploy the emergency drumstick, Park Ranger will be. Hmm. Uh, uh. <gasps> emergency drumstick. Uh, what? No, 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 not that emergency drumstick. The big emergency chicken leg drumstick, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that one there. That one there. Throw it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, T-Rex is going for it. Okay, here I come. It worked. It worked. I'm getting out of here. Come on, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, here we go, here we go. Got the key this time. Here we go. Got it, got it, got it. Let's go. All right, now off to the science fair. Here we go.
Okay, let's see here. Flashlight. Check. Whoopee cushion. Check. Donuts. Check. Of course. Dino remote control. Andy, did you bring the dino remote control? Yeah, I'm sure I brought it. No, I think you should go back to the RV and check. Fine. We may need it. Making Andy mad. Check. What's some sort of donut drink anyway. Donut drink, sure. But don't forget the dino remote control! Donut drink? Get my dino drink and AJ's dino remote control. What are you coming here for? Dino remote control! All right, dino remote control. Dino remote, let's see. <laughs> That's not it, but we can use it. Ooh. Extra, just in case. Dino remote. Dino remote. Dino remote. Where would I be? Dino remote. That is not you. Perfect. Oh. Donut drink. Dino dinner. <laughs> More like Andy's lunch. <coughs> That's delicious. <coughs> mm. Back to work. Dino remote. I got the dino remote. <laughs> Look what I found! Your dino remote that we're probably not gonna use. Let's go. Uh, you're looking a little green there, Park Ranger. Are you feeling okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm not sure about that donut drink. Donut drink? Park Ranger Andy, that was Dino DNA! Dino DNA what? Dino DNA! One sip will turn you into a dinosaur! How much did you drink? Uh, the whole beaker? The whole thing? Why would you even drink anything from a beaker? I was parched from all those donuts! I was afraid of that. The dino reversal serum is our only hope. If you don't drink the serum in the next five minutes, you'll stay a dino forever. Well, well, we better go. Stay right here. I'm going to be right back with the serum. The serum! Okay, the serum, the serum. If I was serum, where would I be? I don't know.
I know it's you. Your emergency donut. I know you love them. Go get them, Andiosaurus. Oh, that was the last time the dinosaur DNA reversal serum. Think, think, what would Park Ranger Andy do? Well, if he wasn't a dinosaur. He would use this. I've got an idea. What wouldn't he use? The dino remote control. Now, where was it? <laughs> Look what I found! Your dino remote that we're probably not going to use. Let's go. That's it! If I can make it back to the T-Rex 1, I can grab the remote control and use it to rewind Andiosaurus back to before he drank the dinosaur DNA! He doesn't see me. He noticed! Mystery drinks. Okay, okay, give it to me. Wow. Oh, it's a good thing we caught it before it turned into a dinosaur. Yeah, definitely a good thing. You know, Park Ranger, we learned a valuable lesson today. Always be prepared. And let this be another Park Ranger lesson. Never drink mysterious liquids out of mysterious containers. You said it. Lesson learned. You know, we never tested that serum before. I'm glad it worked. Oh yeah, it worked perfectly. <laughs> Come on, Pebbles, let's play the raptor chase. Dang! Yeah, yeah, you pebbled. Uh, I should probably move the table. Yeah! Oh! Okay, Pebbles! Let's get going. Okay, Pebbles. This way, Pebbles! Oh, come on, Pebbles! Pebbles! Oh, I know. How about over there? What was that? What was that? What was that? I don't know. What was it? Did you hear that noise, Park Ranger B? Yeah, of course I heard it. I wonder where it came from. I think it came from your room. We better go check it out. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Where's the noise? Where's the noise? Where's the noise? Where's the noise? Where are you? Noise. I um, know you're in here somewhere. No, no, no. Oh, it's not Do you see it anywhere? No, see no, the no. Of the noise? Okay. No, of course not. What's this? What? It, it looks like an incubator. Whoa. There's an incubator light, and there's a there's an egg, and it's hatched. Oh, wow. Dude, you've got a hatched egg and an incubator in your room. <gasps> Did you hear that? Oh, I don't know. Let's just go it's check it out. Yeah, let's what? go oh, check okay, it out. Guys, so we should yeah, check yeah. it out our new sleeping yeah, dart blasters. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go. Super high powered. Okay, all right. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Did you see that, man? That yeah. plant just went flying. Plant. Then... <gasps> it's a dinosaur. Yeah. There's a dinosaur in the house. Quick. Hi. Find the couch. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you all ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Come on. We're ready for you, dinosaur. Okay. Hey. Wait. Wait. 
Why is there a dinosaur in the house, huh? Do you know what's going on here? Well, it all started the other day at the dino park. I found a dinosaur egg and I had an idea. All right, got the new hybrid herbivore dinosaur egg. Yeah, you're going straight to the little incubator in my room. Okay, so take a left. Okay, Eggy Weggy, you ready to be incubated? Okay, oh wait, let's fluff it up first, then put the little Eggy Weggy in there, and then turn on the light. <gasps> oh no. There you go. <laughs> oh, I better go set up the bins. Go. Yeah, and so I thought you might want another herbivore in the park, so that's why I brought you the egg. Well. Yeah, that would have been a pretty cool surprise, but yeah. how are we going to find it now that it's loose in the house, huh? Oh, I got that covered. Follow me. Do you? Okay. Okay. Whee! Okay. Okay, so how are we going to find this mysterious dinosaur that's out there loose in the house that hatched from this egg here, huh? Ta-da! A flashlight? No. Wait, we, we don't need a flashlight. It's plenty bright in here today. Look at that. It's a black light. The black light? Yeah. Wait, what is a black light going to do? That just reveals things that are invisible. And Dinosaur is not. Wait, it's not invisible, is it? No, 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 but its footprints are. It has invisible footprints? How does it have invisible footprints? Well, well, well. I use those two litter boxes right there, uh -huh. and it's full of invisible ink. Oh. So the dinosaur probably got out of there and walked through the invisible ink. Oh, okay. It's so, like its tracks are out there yeah. then, huh? I guess we'll just track it with a black light then? Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty good idea. It's a good way to keep trap tabs on. Okay, well, let's go see if we can find it then, okay? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. <gasps> Which way did it go? It went that way, didn't it? Yeah. Fire up the okay. light there. Where are you, Start little scanning for footprints, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where are oh, yeah. I found one! Oh, did you find one? Yeah, right there. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Looks like another it's going one. that way. Oh, another one! Ooh, okay. I think they are going that way, huh? Oh, no, they disappeared. Oh, yeah, well, oh, no. let's just keep going in the same <gasps> direction. Another one! Hey, you know what? I know it's a baby and all, but I would expect it a little wider from a triceratops. Oh, well. Hey, look. That's that basket that got tossed over earlier that we Plan. saw. Huh? Okay, yeah. Put that back, put that back up there. Ow. All right, here we go. Okay. okay. Oh, oh ooh, look ooh, how bright wow, that one is yeah. there, man. And, oh. okay. Hey, look. There is another one. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's going. And another look. one. Look, it's heading up to the curtain right there. It's moving. The curtain is moving. Yeah. It's on the other side of that curtain right there. Okay, you ready to get it? Yeah. Oh, no. What? We don't have our sleeping our plasters. Oh, man, we forgot them. What? Oh, no. It's just a baby triceratops. How big and scary can it possibly be? I'm sure we can take it on by ourselves, okay? Yeah, Even without our sleeping dark blasters. Okay. Oh, it stopped moving. It did. You know what? I think it might have left. Yeah. Okay, we better go check. We know time for the sleeping dark blasters. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's count to three. One, two, two three. <gasps> oh, huh? man, it's gone. <gasps> Look, the door, it's moving. Okay. It must have gone into the kitchen. Okay, we're hot on its trail now. Okay. You're it. Yeah, we don't have our sleepy dart blasters. Oh, or we're just gonna have to try to get it without our sleepy darts. Okay. Okay, okay let's go. We ninja don't want to lose blades. it. Yeah, it's a good idea. We can use our ninja blades, I guess. Hold yeah. up. Ooh, I bet that oh. hurt. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that again. Okay. <gasps> That's no triceratops, baby. It's a raptor. It is a raptor, baby. Quick, hide over here. Oh, oh man. be a baby raptor, but it still looks pretty mean. Okay, what are we going to do here? Okay, okay. So we've got a raptor over there, and we don't have our sleepy dart blasters with us. We forgot. So we got to get rid of this raptor somehow. Duh! What? We can use the mega dino ray. The mega dino ray? Yeah, we can zap it to the new park. Oh, yeah, we'll send it to part B. That's a great yeah. idea. Okay, where's the dino ray, though? Oh, it's up there. Oh, man. No. It's up on the mantle. We have to go get it without that raptor spotting us. Oh, what are we going to do now, huh? Disguises? Disguises? Well, that's a good idea, but do you happen to have a disguise somewhere handy? Oh, I don't. Over there. A disguise? Yeah, these will go perfect. These. Hey, those are like little masks, huh? Yeah. Those could work. They look like dinosaurs. Yeah. They won't even see us. Okay. Okay, which one do you want? Uh, I'll take 
the raptor. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, there we go. Okay, ah. all right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's sneak over there. Okay, okay, go. Sure, the raptor's never gonna spot us with these masks on, huh? Okay, yeah. Oh, there it is, right over there. Okay. Shh. Shh, raptor, yeah. Nothing to see yeah. here. Just a couple of friendly dinosaurs. Over right. here. Just to get the dino ray. See it there? Okay. <gasps> freeze. 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 Okay. okay. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Shh. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Nice and easy. Real cool. Yeah, Raptor. Okay. 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 It worked, man. Great idea with the disguises okay, there. Let's huh? power this baby up. Get the disguise off here. Okay. Yeah. Fire that baby up there. Huh? Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> yeah! It's not working. Why isn't it not working? Wait, does it have batteries in it? Oh no. What? It doesn't have batteries. This is where are the batteries? Oh, man, where are they? Wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Oh man, it's there on top of the fireplace. Oh, no. oh. Okay, we'll just sneak over and we'll get the batteries, okay? okay. But you know what? I don't think that raptor's gonna fall for these disguises twice. Yeah. Okay, raptors are too clever. Okay, what can we do to disguise ourselves if we go over there? Mm -hmm. What can we use here? Ooh, I got an idea. Ooh, what, what? Yeah. Ooh, what's that? It's a mega bounce XL uh, giant bouncy ball. How's that gonna work? That's not really a disguise unless you're gonna but go inside the ball or something. We yeah? can hide behind it. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll put then. this on just in case. Okay, well, I guess okay. we're going to blow it up, huh? <sighs> faster, faster, pump, faster, faster. Faster, faster, faster! Oh, you know what? Let me try. Okay, okay, fine. You try it. I'll hold the ball then, okay? Faster. It's not so easy, is it, huh? Uh... I think you're there. I think you got enough, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. All right, let's just connect this thing. Ooh, ah! there it is. Come on. Okay, you got the pin. Oh, yeah, there you go. Shh, oh, perfect. Shh. Okay, man. Be quiet. You don't want that raptor to hear, okay? It's a pretty good bouncy ball, isn't yeah. it? Uh, yeah, it's a nice work. seat, too. Yeah, this is pretty cool, man. That's a good exercise ball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? I don't think we can both hide behind this thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, one well, of us is going to have to go. Uh, you're too big. Yeah, I think I probably am too big there. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, you gotta go there. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use these just in case, Okay, too. here yeah, I go. Let me check. Okay, yeah, it's not paying attention. Go for it. Crouch down low. Easy now. Okay, yeah, hide behind the ball there. Yeah, there you go like that. Take it easy now, Parker and Joe B. You're doing good. Doing good, you're almost to the batteries. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, the Raptor, quick, get the batteries, get out of there. Hurry, Parker and Joe B. Hurry, 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 hurry. Shh. Hi, Tadich. Okay, 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 you got it. You got it. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's All open six. this bad boy up. Okay. And get the batteries in there then. One in there. Here, get one in there. Okay. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Ready to fire this bad boy up yeah. and send this raptor to part B. Yeah. Let's go for it. Ready? There okay. we go. Here we go, Raptor. Yeah. We're going back to part B. Yeah. Hey, you got it. Yeah. Woohoo! You sent that bad boy yeah. to part B, huh? Yeah. High five. Yeah. High five. Yeah. High five. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's the goggles there, okay? Okay, hey, mm. let's go clean yeah, up the mess from the raptor, okay? Aww. Yeah. I don't think that's one of ours! That's because we're not in T-Rex Ranch! Where are we? We're at the Harupa Mountains Discovery Center! I bet there's more dinos inside! Let's go to discover! Hey, AJ, are you familiar with the legend of the Harupa Mountain Mammoth? No, what is it? They say a mammoth named Eddie guards this very valley and brings luck to anyone who finds him. Should we go look? Yeah! Yeah, let's go! Dino Challenge, which one? Please, my cigarette What's this one? Pterodactyl or Pteranodon. Looks like he had a rough night. Dimetrodon. <laughs> Ankylosaurus. Pretty good. 
Torosaurus, Triceratops, Pachyrhinosaurus. Impressed. Camelosaurus. Camelosaurus? That doesn't seem right. Sounds Greek. Not a Greek dinosaur. Hey, you know, AJ, if we're gonna look for Eddie, who needs to know what to look for? Good point. Hmm. Maybe that guy will help us. Oh yeah, he looks smart. Let's go. Hi, I'm Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Park Ranger Andy. Hello, I'm Dino Dave. Dino Dave? That's our kind of guy. Yeah. Welcome to the Harupa Mountains Discovery Center. Right now we're in front of our Earth Science Museum. Inside we have some fossils through time. You guys excited to see some fossils? Yeah! yeah. Well, let's go. Great. Whoa. Look at all this stuff. I don't know where to begin. I do. Follow me. So let's begin in the depths of our ocean. Here, on to your right, we have ammonites. They were these squids that lived inside these shells. Now they lived amongst, well, fish and other aquatic life, like you see here on our fish wall. Cool! Stuck in the Green River formation, within these sediment layers, we can uncover a lot of evidence of these living organisms. How do you find fossils? Well, you just gotta survey the land and dig throughout the sediment layers and be extra careful. Fossils are very fragile. So these are found on land where the oceans used to be? Either used to be or were pushed onto land. What, what's that? Well, that is a head of a fish that grew up 20 to 25 feet long. <gasps> Need to find that in a swimming pool. <gasps> Welcome to the Botanical Gardens. Good point. Now here we have the California Choya, also known as the jumping cactus. Whoa. Tell us about it. Well, these little barbs are so hooked at a microscopic level that even a tiny brush could just really hook into you. Okay. I'm gonna back away now. Oh, well, we go see some other cactuses, right? Good idea. And we have things that are more terrestrial, things that kind of like to walk their way onto land. Is that a turtle? That is. This is a protostega. It's kind of like an aquatic sea turtle, or an ancient kind, if you want to think of it that way. Kind of neat, huh? Well, you can find all sorts of remains of living critters, like... Oh, what's that? Oh, that there, that's dinosaur poop. Fossilized dino poop? Ew! Yes, fossilized poop. You know, you can find a lot of information about dinosaur poop. Usually the color in the fossilized poop can tell you if it's a protein diet or a plant diet. How do you tell that? Well, we know that meat's kind of red with iron. Well, if you look into the copper light here or the fossilized poop, you can see a little bit of red going on. So a lot of these are remains of carnivorous dinosaurs. How are fossils formed? When organic matter is buried and protected underneath the sediment layers, the minerals in the surrounding sediment kind of seep in with the help of water. So as the organic material leaves its body and gets recycled into the environment, the minerals take its place. What's this thing? Well, that kind of looks like a cluster of raptor and bone. Paleontologists have to dig out each digit and each bone very carefully in order to well, showcase it here in a museum. Cool. Yeah, here's Protoceratops stuck within its matrix. We can lean on over to meat-eating dinosaurs, such an Allosaurus, a three-claw predator. We're familiar. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. And this is our Allosaurus. Oh! I don't see it. Well, you gotta dig for it. 
Dig for it? Yes, dig for it. Under this sand, we speculate there's an entire Allosaurus skeleton. We're going to uncover it using these tools. Cool! Whoa, teeth! Whoa! Yeah, these teeth belong to an Allosaurus. Whoa, I think we found the head! As long as you keep pulling towards you, we can uncover large bodies of it. Did you find something, AJ? Yeah! Looks like we found some ribs over here. Oh, God, I'm starving. The Park Ranger AJ, what do you think this is? I don't know, maybe the hip? Come check it out. If this is the hip, there must be legs. I think you're right, Park Ranger AJ. You gotta I think uncover right. it. Ranger AJ. Thanks, Park Ranger Andy. Oh, another oh. piece. There's a lot here. Another. Sure does look like an Allosaurus we know. Gotta be very gentle when you're getting this close, huh? Yeah. This is the most fun I've had in a long time. I love discovering things. Woo! Success! Success! Well, actually, we're only about 25% done here. 25%? That would be at least a quarter done. And leading out of the dinosaur era, we get the Pleistocene or the Ice Age era, the rise of mammals, like this cave bear, for example. And we have mastodons, or Columbian and woolly mammoths. Here is a tusk we found here in the Harupa Valley. Marvelous thing, very splintery, but as you can see, still preserved within the cast mold in which it was dug. The Columbian mammoth, most notable here, is called Edward, and this is Edward's tusk. Now, Edward is a Columbian species, so he traveled all the way North America, all the way down here to the Harupa Valley. So they roam this very valley? Yes, and if you keep your eyes peeled, you might just see one here at the Discovery Center. Dave said if we look hard enough, we can find a mammoth. Well, then we gotta look harder! Yeah! Park Ranger AJ! Park Ranger AJ! Where is that kid? So, uh, what do you know about mammoths, AJ? Well, I know they're the ancestors of elephants. And they're two stories tall. And that's all I know. Yeah, it's good enough for now. <laughs> We're on an adventure! Yeah! What's that in the background? <gasps> Look! Is that the mammoth? Let's go see. We made it. There he is, Eddie the Columbian Mammoth. Awesome. For a pretty awesome day. You said it. I guess this is the end. <laughs> no, this is the end. Our <laughs> home. Name this one, Park Ranger. All right, you got me. Abraham Lincoln is so alright. I don't see it. Fifty 
seven minutes earlier. <laughs> Park Rangers, check it out. It's happening. I did not expect that. Looks like it's been in there for a while. Smells like it's been in there for a while. There's some sort of device inside that cracked open the egg. That's pretty cool tech. Let's check it out. It's a map of T-Rex Ranch, just with eggs in all these random places. Is there writing on the top? Follow the clues every week to find what you seek. In busy specs, we'll reveal all the eggs I've concealed. This isn't just a map. It's a treasure map! Well, these must be the Invisi specs. Maybe there are hidden eggs all around us. We just can't see them. Let's go find some treasure. Not so fast, Park Rangers. We don't know who or what left this egg behind. And we got a T-Rex on the wrong side of the electric fence, so we got to be extra cautious. Park Ranger Maisie and Bella, you two take the Dino One and see what you can find. You don't have to ask us twice. <laughs> Park Ranger Asher and Max, you're with me. We're going to go into the Dino Master's closet and see if we can find us a T-Rex tamer. Guys, I've told you. Just look at the other person's elbow, you'll never miss. Let's go kick up some dust. Let's go shopping. We are currently surrounded by awesome and unpredictable blasters, zappers, pokers, prodders, and even a couple of horkers. Mm -hmm. Should you be up for the challenge of mastering one of these gadgets, you will receive the Park Ranger Achievement Badge of Gadget Guru. Asher, you get to pick today. Oh, it's yes! The Dino Freeze Ray. Sounds cool. Let's take it for a test drive. The map says there's an egg hidden somewhere in Dimetrodon Village. Don't worry, Mama. We're not here for your eggs. I don't think. Hold on, Park Ranger. You are going to need these. Busy specs. Good call. What you see? Just a lot of bright colors. Now I know what it's like to be a crayon. Wait. It's a clue. Your seeking doesn't scare us. See what's hiding in Pteranodon Terrace. Guess where we're headed. Call that a successful test. All right, now hold it carefully with two hands and with careful aim, and then you... Amazing! Never mind. I'm just the adult with years of experience. Whoa. What a drive! Yeah. Let me go set up the cans. I 
guess I don't earn my Gadget Guru badge today. You must be brave, or be a good actor, if you seek treasure on the trail of the raptor. Raptor, raptor trails! trails. <laughs> he seems to be alive. Well, that's a good thing. Max, can you hear us? Was that a uh-huh or uh-uh? I couldn't tell. Yeah, me neither. This thing doesn't appear to have any other settings besides on and off. Hmm. Looks like we'll have to go with plan B. We can't understand you. Getting real spooky vibes here. Are you sure we're going the right way? Nature doesn't do spooky. It's just nature. <laughs> Just watch our backs and make sure we don't have any unwanted dino visitors. Copy that, Park Ranger. Ah! Bella! Bella, come on. We gotta go. Don't you think he would have attacked us by now? Maybe. Probably. He seems to be in a loop or something. Like he's not real. Rape be an actor. Rape be an actor. Rape be an actor. What are you doing? Acting brave. Okay. What just happened? Someone created a hologram of a raptor to scare people off. Holy treasure, Saurus! <sighs> We've got big news. We do too. We accidentally froze Max. <clears throat> I accidentally froze Max. Is he okay? He's fine. What just happened? The last thing I remember, I was picking up a soda can. The dino unfreeze, Ray. Come on, park rangers, did you even look? You're up, Bella. And now, for the really big news. We found a hidden egg in Dimetrodon Village, which had a clue inside that led us to Toronodon Terrace. That finally brought us to the raptor trails. But we found these. How many of these hidden egg locations did you visit? Just three. So you're saying there's an entire park out there full of hidden eggs? With who knows what inside. Could be a baby dino, could be confetti! Ugh, terrible. But we have no idea who hid them. <laughs> what? It's my new ringtone. Eh, too soon. I think I like you better, Frozen. Come on, park rangers. Let's put these eggs in the dino egg incubator and see what surprises await us. Wait, is that two Orsons? Gotta go! 41 minutes earlier. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> go back six steps, come on! All right, park rangers. While Maisie and Bella are off on their training mission, I need us to come up with some new and safe dino control devices. 
The Dino Master left us some powerful gadgets, but are often dangerous and unreliable. But we just started our game of T-Rex Trouble. Oh, well, I guess I'll just keep this Reptile Wrangler achievement badge to myself. We're in! That's more like it. We've got an unruly Spinosaurus, so I'll need your ideas in an hour. But that's so soon. I mean, no sweat. <laughs> Plenty of time. Come on, little guy. Let's go. Playtime? Come on. <laughs> You two ready to have some structured fun? Pretty soon these little guys will be bigger than us. Like way bigger. Which is why we have to train them young. And we'll start with the spherical object retrieval. Fetch. Fetch the ball, Para. Go get it. Go ahead, Ty. That's okay. Maybe they're more into other sports? Hey, Sam, come up with the ideas for new gadgets? Not yet, but any minute now. What's in the book? Oh, just some brainstorms. You did these all today? Yeah, mostly, but I better get working on some new prototypes. Good luck! Okay, one more time. Fetch! Ah, that was the last toy I had! Any luck, Bella? No, but I've got a good feeling about this one. Ducks are birds, and birds are basically dinosaurs, right? So this will be like a family reunion. New plan. Well, I'll be an Allosaurus's uncle. Sarah, you did it. You fetched. What's your excuse, mister? I need help coming up with a new idea for a dino gadget. Let me think about that. Also, would it be okay if I said it was my idea? I mean, you don't need an achievement badge, right? I'm sorry. My services are unavailable right now. Okay. Well, what if we share credit? Like a collaboration? I'm sorry. My services are unavailable right now. I see. Playing hard to get. Well, maybe you can't help me, but I know who can. Arexa, call the dino master. Calling the dino master. But remember, it was your idea, not mine. Oh, Park Ranger Sam. What can I do for you? Ready to come crawling back, are you? What? No. I need help coming up with a new idea, and I heard you're good with gadgets. Hmm. A little brainstorming, eh? Let's hear what you got so far. Okay. Um... What about a big, wide thing with cushions so when the dinos get upset, they can sit on it and relax? You're looking at the couch right now, aren't you? No. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Since I'm feeling charitable today, I'll give you my worst idea, which is still ten times better than your best idea. Hey, Sam, almost ready? Yeah. All right, I'll go get Asher. Okay, now roll over. You are just the perfect little Parasaurolophus, aren't you? Ahem. <laughs> Still no luck, huh? It's so weird. Back at Dino HQ, this little guy loves to play with Asher, but when I try, it's like I'm not even there. Maybe it's all about enthusiasm. Show that you're really excited to play with him. You're right. Good note. 
Okay, buddy. Go get the frisbee! No, no, don't get up. Watch me. I'll show you how it's done. On second thought, maybe we'll continue this lesson another time. Pack the babies. Park Ranger may need a Dino HQ! This is urgent! Please respond! Wait! Wait up! All right, Asher. Let's hear your pitch for the next Dino Control gadget. Sure. I have a whole notebook of ideas. Uh, how about you just tell us your top three? Oh, top three. Okay. What's the best way to scare off an angry Allosaurus? This feels like a joke. We give up. How do you scare off an angry Allosaurus? Great question. Let me show you. Don't want to go extinct twice, right? Nicely done, Asher. Very effective. Next up, the boom boom whistle. It makes any dino that hears this instantly go poop. Wait! Sure it only works on dinosaurs. Um, I'm not 100% sure. In that case, let's save the poop your pants whistle for another day, huh? It can mimic anyone's voice. Here, catch. Hi, I'm Sam, and this is how I talk. Hi, I'm Orson, and I love rules. Hi, I'm Maisie. I'm like your cool big sister. So, what do you guys think? Very impressive, Asher. Although I'm sure Sam's got some great ideas of her own. Get on up there, Sam. Okay, so whenever birds eat crops on a farm, you need a scarecrow to get rid of them, right? So I made a scarecrow just for dinosaurs, the Scarodactyl. Are you amazed or frightened? I can't tell. Well, it's definitely scary. It looks just like you! <laughs> oh. Oops. Go for Orson. Maisie to Dino HQ! We need backup! We got a Spinosaurus situation that's about to get spinier! <gasps> Spinosaurus. Got it, Park Rangers. On our way. But I may need to lay low. Me and Spiny do not get along. The Spinosaurus? He hates Park Ranger Orson. Wait, that gives me an idea! Sam, bring your Scarodactyl! Wait, is that two Orsons? I wasn't sure that it would, to be honest. Hey, Asher, can I borrow your little voice doohickey? Sure. All right, let's try this one more time. Hey, Ty. Fetch. <laughs> Whoa, how did you know that would work? I've seen how close Asher and Ty are. I think that each baby dino has their own favorite human. Oh, Kara, does that mean I'm your favorite? Sam, for your very handsome and well-dressed Scarodactyl, I present to you the Reptile Wrangler Achievement Badge. Great job, Park Ranger Sam. That was a great idea. And Asher, for improving in Sam's idea and helping save the day, I present to you the Teamwork Titan Achievement Badge. Wow, thanks! 
also like to add that Asher had a lot of great ideas, like- Hey, what's this whistle? Where did she go? I don't know, but we better find her before someone else does or they'll know that Dino still exists. Oh, maybe she wasn't there. Oh yeah, maybe. We're dark in here, I can't see anything. Where'd she go? We should split up. You go that way, and I'll head this way. If you find her, you might need this. Yeah, what is it? Magnifying glass? Binoculars? Leash? A twig? It's your favorite snack. It is? Yeah. Can't see why. Okay. Sense, but where in the wide world of dino fossils are we? That's what I'm thinking. Hi, welcome to the Alk Museum of Paleontology. I'm Gabe, a paleontologist. Do you want me to show you around? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We want to look around with no ulterior motives whatsoever. All right, cool. So here at the Alk Museum, we talk about the great story of life on Earth, and that story is set into many different chapters. Here in the Precambrian, life wasn't as great. It wasn't a great environment for things to appear. But during this chapter in the Paleozoic, that's when we had the big explosion of life on Earth. And some of the first characters to appear in that story are things like this. This is Isotelus rex, and it is the most complete trilobite ever discovered by scientists. Over here, we have Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon might look like a dinosaur, but it's not. It is actually an ancient distant relative of mammals like us. A metrodon sound a dinosaur. Would we have a T-Rex ranch? Did you hear that? I think so. Oh, uh, that's me clicking my, my pen. <laughs> he does that. Uh, shall we move on? We gotta keep an eye out for Sneaker. My lamps are wide open. Oh, the age of the dinosaur. And speaking of dinosaurs, we have one right here. This is Gryposaurus. Gryposaurus is a holotype. A holotype is the first of its kind ever described by science. This one is about 75 million years old and it was found in Utah. And here's a baby Parasaurolophus. <laughs> baby Parasaurolophus? <laughs> I haven't seen a baby Parasaurolophus. Have you seen a baby Parasaurolophus? No, never in my life. Why would you ask? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm talking about Joe, our complete baby Parasaurolophus fossil. Oh, right! That Parasaurolophus. That makes more sense! Yeah. yeah, well, Joe's really cool because Joe's crest is actually part of its nose. When it blows air through its nose, it makes a sound like a trumpet. Interesting. Okay, well, how about we check out more dinosaurs? Sure! <laughs> And this here is the Tyrannosaurus rex. Its name means Tyrant Lizard King, and it was the apex predator 65 million years ago. What's really cool is that they regrew their teeth through their whole life, so they always had sharp teeth. We are very familiar with the T-Rex. Okay, well, do you want to check out my favorite era at the Cenozoic? Sure, I'm gonna look why at not? here. All right, come on. Any baby Parasaurolophus is hiding in here? Not unless they're invisible. And over here are one of my favorite fossils. This is a bronothere. Bronothere means thunder beast, and they might look like rhinos, but they're actually a close relative. Instead of a horn like rhinos have, they have these bony plates on their nose. Pretty interesting. 
Um, they're kind of herbivore, but do you want to see a Cenozoic carnivore? Sure. Uh -huh. All right, let's head that way. Okay. Ooh, a giant alligator! Yeah, this is Prosaurus. It's a giant crocodile that existed in Brazil about seven million years ago. And what's really cool about it is, is, is that they had these sharp teeth that they regrew through their whole life. Andy, cut it out! Not a good time! Uh... Uh, you mind if we wander the museum on our own? It's very explore. interesting, but we'd like to go check out some yeah. stuff on our own. Thank you so much! Yeah. Of Whoa, look at all these exhibits! Oh, and if there's a place for her to sneak around, this is a good place to do it. Yeah. A lot of places for, to hide. Good for her. Bad for us. Oh, that's true. Okay. Here, baby dino! Here, baby dino! Baby, baby! If I was a baby parasaurologist, where would I be? Poor thing, Jack, it's only a skeleton! A vampire dog! They're nearly seven feet long with sharp wolf like teeth. They're carnivores and they have a bear shaped body and claws. Well, that's very terrifying. Did you hear that? Yeah, I think that's our baby dino. Keep him over there. I'll go first. Go ahead. Maybe a dino pig. What a mess! Someone or some dino has been rummaging through here. Oh, we're never gonna find her! Parker and Randy, let's think about this. How do you catch a dinosaur named Sneaka? By being sneakier than Sneaka is. Right you are, Parker and Randy. And what did we just learn about Parasaurolus? Their crests are actually long noses capable of making different sounds depending on how they're shaped. So what if instead of chasing her, we called Sneaka to us? By using the noise that she would make! Exactly! No, 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 not you! Using the Parasaurolophus sound boxes! I mean, I guess we could do that too. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> One, two, three! Not to do it again. One, two, three! Look! Yeah! Oh! Here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here you go, Sneaka. Here you go. Sneak up on and have some of this delicious stick. Do you have any questions about our Parasaurolophus sandbox? Uh, I don't think so. Seems to work perfectly as intended. <laughs> Why did that get you a bigger stick? What's your favorite dinosaur to feed? Well, I like the Stegosaurus because it's so gentle and eats the veggies right out of your hand. Yeah. Well, how about your least favorite dinosaur to feed? Oh, I've got to say the raptors. They look at you with those claws like your dinner. Yeah, and I feel like if they ate you, they would burp after. Rude and scary. That's why I brought us here to the Ojai Raptors. Stop, raptors! It's okay, it's okay. We're going to learn. We're going to learn about raptors today and we're going to learn maybe how to take care of them for when we go back to T-Rex Ranch. Okay. All right? Yeah. It's fine. Let's go. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, Park Ranger Andy. Hi. This is Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. I'm Jacqueline from the Ojai Raptor Center. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a wildlife rehabilitation facility. We specialize in wildlife, but raptors specifically. And we take in about a thousand injured, sick, and orphan raptors a year. And as wildlife rehabilitators, our main goal is to make them well again and release them back to the wild where they belong. Back into the wild? All those raptors? Out in the wild? Uh, um, yeah, birds of prey. All right, birds! birds!
birds. Of course you're talking about birds, right? Yeah. We know you're not talking about dinosaurs. That'd be ridiculous if you're talking about dinosaurs. You can't release them out in the wild. They'd have to be in like a ranch or something. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't exist though, right? Right. So yeah, we consider owls, hawks, falcons, eagles, and vultures here. We consider all of those birds to be raptors. So actually, we're getting into our busiest season here in all of wildlife rehabilitation, where we receive lots of babies that have been separated from their parents. Usually their nests have been destroyed, and they need to be raised by people in captivity. But we have to make sure that they maintain their natural fear of humans in order for them to be successful once we release them back to the wild. So we have to make sure they don't become too comfortable with humans or see humans as their friends or anything. So we cover our features, we disguise ourselves, and we feed them actually with a fake owl so they never get too used to humans. Do you guys want to help me feed the orphans? Yeah, yeah. I love playing dress up. Okay, here are your suits. So you're gonna put these on because again, these are not pets, these are wild animals, and we have to make sure that the baby owls don't get used to seeing people. So we're gonna put these on to disguise our features, and then we're gonna go feed the baby owls little pieces of food because they're too young to eat by themselves. Okay. This will be easy peasy. Yeah. Okay, Ranger AJ, you look like you're all set. You got your G-Lay suit on. Yeah. Ready to go inside the hospital and feed? Yeah. Okay, we have to make sure that we're very, very quiet when we go inside the hospital, okay? Yeah. Okay, ready? Let's go. I'll be right behind you. And I'll be really quiet. So some of our birds are unfortunately not releasable to the wild and we train them to become ambassadors for their species. So would you like to meet some of our non-releasable ambassador raptors? I would love to. I'd love to see yeah. something. I can't see anything. Hi, AJ. Hi, Andy. Hi. I'm Kimberly here with our ambassador brewing, Al Topper. Hi, Topper. Hi, Topper. Baby? No, actually, he's full grown. He's about seven years old. As with dinosaurs, raptors come in all shapes and sizes. And as a matter of fact, about half of the owls in North America are small owls, like topper or even smaller. His eyes just pierce right through your soul. I know, his eyes are pretty amazing, right? All raptor eyes are pretty amazing. Amazing. I've never seen that color yellow on an eye before. And actually, some of the things in his eyes are related to why we have Topper. What do you mean? So, well, with all of our ambassadors, they can't survive in the wild. That's why they live with us as ambassadors. And Topper came to us after having a head injury, and he has some damage to his eyes as well. That's why he can't survive in the wild. So he's a owl? Yes, he is. What's that mean? Well, although we think of most birds and most owls living mostly in the sky or up high in trees, these guys spend most of their life on the ground and they actually nest underground. Although these guys are a predator like other raptors, the small raptors are both predator and prey. So basically anything big enough to hunt him, including other raptors, will hunt them. They're also endangered by dogs, feral cats, raccoons, and snakes. So they actually have a super cool way to help protect themselves from predators. When they're feeling threatened or when the babies are in the burrow and feel threatened, they actually make a sound like a rattlesnake. And that wards off most predators. And for the babies, it makes their parents come back home to protect them. So if there's a fight between the owl and a rattlesnake, who's gonna win? Well, that's a tough call. A burrowing owl couldn't actually fight off a rattlesnake the way that a red-tailed hawk or a great horned owl could catch one. But they might be able to ward it off with their snake sounds and otherwise just um, do something that's called mobbing when they fly at a potential predator to just scare it off. Are they friendly with other owls of their same kind? That's a great question. I think good. 
So because many of their hosts live in colonies, burrowing owls tend to also be colonial. So they can nest just with one pair, but in the past they've actually had populations of thousands of burrowing owls in one place because we had such huge colonies of prairie dogs. Is it true owls can spin their heads all the way around? Well, they can't quite spin their heads 360 degrees all the way around. However, owls and other raptors can look completely over their shoulder. So Topper can turn his head um, from looking straight at you all the way to looking over his shoulder. It's about 140 degrees. Well, Topper's getting a little tired, so I need to take him home. But Jacqueline is ready to introduce you to another of our super cool ambassador raptors. I think you're gonna love it. Well, I will be glad to see it. So what's the owl thing? Who? The owl. Who? I'm asking about the owl. Who? <sighs> the owl says who? Says what? Who? What? Who? I don't get it. Good job. This is Rosie, and she is our non-releasable red-tailed hawk ambassador. Why did you guys name her Rosie? That's a good question. So we named Rosie Rosie because her beautiful red tail, that red-tailed hawks, which is her species, what they're known for. A little side note for you, red-tailed hawks don't actually get their red tail until they're about two years old or just before, once they become mature. So if you see a juvenile red-tailed hawk, they'll have a brown and tan striped tail. You know, I named my bathtub Rosie. Why'd you name your bathtub Rosie? Well, every time I don't clean it, I get a ring around the Rosie. We've had Rosie for 17 years. She came to us when she was only one years old, so she was a juvenile with a broken wing in her right wing, actually, in her shoulder. She can't fly well enough to be released to the wild, so that's why we have her. I think there's some confusion about velociraptors and raptors. Raptors are birds of prey. So it's a group of different birds that are predators and they're hunters and they have sharp hooked beaks and claw-like talons that allow them to hunt and eat other animals. So here at the Raptor Center, we consider hawks, falcons, eagles, owls, and vultures all to be raptors. So they lay eggs like dinosaurs. Yes, exactly. They lay eggs just like dinosaurs. Velociraptors are dinosaurs that were really small and fast that lived between 70 and 90 million years ago. And when paleontologists discovered their fossils for the first time in about the 1920s, they named them velociraptors, which that word actually translates to fast birds of prey, because anatomically or structurally, they're really similar to modern birds of prey, specifically that sharp hooked talon that velociraptors had in their hind foot. But velociraptors were always dinosaurs and raptors were always birds of prey. All birds have actually evolved from dinosaurs. So during the Cretaceous period, this is when most dinosaurs went extinct, there was a very small number of avian dinosaurs, basically bird-like dinosaurs of the theropod group of dinosaurs. So actually, T-Rex was in this group, but only the small theropods survived into the almost 11,000 species of birds that we have on our planet today. Did they evolve from meat-eating dinosaurs? Yes, they did. Velociraptors were meat-eating predators like modern-day birds of prey. So he only eats meat. These birds only eat meat. They cannot process anything else. So they are only able to digest raw meat. No veggies. Bird after my own heart. Right. No veggies. They must be similar to dinosaurs in other ways then. Some dinosaurs supposedly had feathers. Yes. Velociraptors and theropods definitely had feathers, and they're starting to think that perhaps all dinosaurs had feathers, as a matter of fact, although none of them actually use them to fly. Like chickens. Exactly. Well, chickens can fly a little bit. Yeah, chickens can fly if they need to. Penguins. Like penguins, exactly. Yes, to keep them warm, but not really for the function of flight. So they have hollow bones, like the Allosaurus. That's a very good question, yes. So really all flighted birds have hollow bones. So larger birds that don't fly and even smaller birds like penguins, birds that don't fly have fused bones that are filled with marrow and blood just like ours. But all birds that fly have hollow or pneumatic bones and their dinosaur ancestors did as well. So thanks so much for coming today. I hope you guys learned something new. We, we learned, learned so, much. so much. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Was that a rattlesnake? Or a burrowing owl? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. 
Well, if we are, we're using your legs. My legs? It's not fair. Goodbye, thanks a lot. <laughs> Whoa, 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 look! Look! It's an Apatosaurus! Yeah, what's it doing here? I don't know, it's eating this tree. Why is there an mm. Apatosaurus out here in the middle of England, huh? Mm. That's weird. Okay, let's back up and we'll go the other way, okay? Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop! Wait, 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 wait! wait. There's a Stegosaurus back there! You're right, it is a Stegosaurus back there! Man. What is going on, man? There's dinosaurs all over the place out here. Yeah! Okay, well, we're kind of trapped. So, you know what? There's a house right up here. Maybe we can go find out who these dinosaurs belong to. They shouldn't be out here. Yeah. Okay, here. We'll go in and check it out, all right? Go in. We'll just leave the car here and Despicable G can just sleep because he looks like he's having a pretty good snooze, all right? Yeah. Okay, he'll be fine. All right, come on. Oh, yeah, I have a sleeping art blaster. Thanks. Always got to have that. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. All right. Come on, Park Ranger LB. Let's go. Okay. This is the place. Really? It's kind of a scary looking house, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Ooh, did you hear that lightning and thunder, huh? Yeah. Okay, I think this place could be haunted. Nah. Mm, okay, okay, let's go knock on the door. Nope. Okay, whatever. Here we go. Oh man, what you listening to here, huh? Okay, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, come on, come on, man. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go inside now, okay? Okay, let's go on in, okay? Okay. Ooh, that was kind of loud, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's go in. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Okay. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Okay, I'll tell you what. What? Get out our flashlights. It's got it dark. Okay. Now get your flashlight there. And you got your sleepy dart blaster ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go in. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? <sighs> All right. Where is everybody? Go away and leave me here all alone. <sighs> Park Ranger Aaron, come in, Park Ranger Aaron. Oh, that's no good. I'll have to go and find him. Oh. Looks like it's starting to rain. Maybe they went down to that house there. Uh. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, look at that piano. Whoa. Wow, that's kind of old, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. All right, I think we better stay out of that area there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Oh, yeah. Okay, the stairs, yeah. I can't see anything else up here. Okay, we'll try the stairs. Well, you then. go okay. first. Me? Yeah. You go. Okay, I always have to go first, don't I? Because you know what day it is. It's not Wednesday. Yeah. But I still wait. have to go first anyway, it's don't Monday. I? It's Monday. You okay, go on no, Mondays, no. Wednesdays, and Fridays. <gasps> oh. Look at this. Yeah. You know, it kind of looks abandoned, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Hmm. Really? Let's go check it out. Okay? Oh, it's the Dino Depot. Let's go over here to the left, all right? Okay. It is a T-Rex. Yeah. Wow, look at that. It's a pretty awesome looking T-Rex, isn't it? Oh yeah. He has a big eyeball. Yeah, okay. Hmm. hmm. Okay, let's see what's over here. Well, I don't see anything interesting over oh, here. No, okay. I like the Swiss. Whoa! Whoa! T-Rex is gone. Okay, I told you this place was haunted, didn't I? It's not haunted. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't see anything else in here but a big table. Let's go over there. Huh? I think that uh, might be a fireplace. Maybe we can get a fire going and get warm, okay? Yeah. Hot, hot, hot!
Hey, look at this, huh? Whoa. It's like Napoleon's battlefield or something. Yeah. Wow, Jenga Whoa. bricks, though, huh? Oh, Come wait, on. watch this. <gasps> Did you hear that? What? The piano. No. Oh, man. Sure, okay. I heard a piano up there. That's what I was doing. Okay. Oh, oh, so close. Well, now you messed it up. If they come home, they're gonna be cross with you, dude. Oh no, but they don't know we're in here. Well, hopefully they won't know. Come on, Let's see if we get this fire started over here and get some warmth, huh? Hey, look at that. Hey, that's a pretty cool T-Rex skeleton there, huh? Uh, no, that's a raptor. Raptor? Yeah. Well, that's a T-Rex. <gasps> it's T-Rex. T-Rex is back. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hear what? What? Wait, wait, Take wait, your what? headphones off. What? What? I swear I heard footsteps upstairs. Yeah. Okay, this place is weird. You know what? I think we should go upstairs and see what those footsteps were. What footsteps? Those footsteps I heard upstairs. Come on, let's go. Okay, we'll You're worry about the fire right. later. Come on. But there on, isn't sweat. even any footsteps. Okay, you know what day it is. <gasps> Did you hear that? Uh-uh. There was footsteps again. What? Okay, come on. Wait, that's just your footsteps. No, 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 they're upstairs. Footsteps. And now there's footsteps up there. Okay, come on, shh, let's go. You go first. No, 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 you, remember? No, no, I'll go first, it's okay. Two. No, it's Monday. Hey, there's another level up here. There is? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, you think we should check it out? Yep. Oh, yeah, you go first. Yeah, I'm going first, that's right. Oh, that looks like a telephone. Maybe I can use that to call somebody to help me find the park rangers. Hello. I think we reached the top, okay? The tippy okay. tippy top. Yeah. Oh, look. Maybe we can find a place to get a rest. Yeah. Hey, what about Despicable G, though? Hmm. Yeah, he looked pretty comfy there in the car. I'll just yeah. leave him there, okay? Come on, let's go. Ooh, which one do I want? I want this one. Okay, that'll work. We'll just get some rest, okay? Here, let's put our Sleepy Dart Blasters over here then, all right? Okay. There we go. Okay, let's get some rest for a while. We'll go get Despicable G when those dinosaurs are gone, okay? Okay. Is anybody there? Hello? 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 Oh, that's no good. Silly telephone's out of order. Man, where are those park rangers? Oh! Oh! Hey, what's that? Oh! Oh! What is that? What's going on? Uh, it's a ghost! <laughs> okay. Park Ranger will be there's a ghost. Oh man, he's asleep. Okay, I'm ready for you, ghost. Don't come in here. Don't mess with me. I got my sleepy dart blasters. Ah, it's the ghost! Hey, there you are! Oh! I got it! I got it! Come on, Park Ranger OB, get up, get up, get up! Come on, come on, come on, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go! Bedtime time! No, no, it's not bedtime time! We gotta go! Okay, come on, Park Ranger OB, we gotta get out of here! Here, put your hat on! Yeah, no, come on, man, come on! This place is haunted! We gotta get out of here! Shh, come on, shh! Ooh. No, that's a ghost right there! It's a ghost! Go! Don't fall down the stairs. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Okay, come on, Park Ranger OB. Come on, get in here. Just mm -hmm. wait there. Okay. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Quick, hurry. Now, what did he do that for? Shooting me with a sleepy dog. 
No way they gone. Oh, I'm gonna go find them again. I don't know why I did that. Hey, there's a piano again. Oh. We gotta get out of here. This place is haunted. Come oh, on. we should come back here no, again. No, 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 never again. Okay, here, here, you stay there. Okay, we put the stuff away. All right? Yo, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, come on here. I'm gonna put you in. Huh? Okay. All right. Here you go. Get in. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, where's Despicable G, man? I don't know. What? What? Here. What? What? Despicable G? Oh, there you are! Ha, I've been looking all over for you. And I've been looking for the missing Stegosaurus. Whoa, what happened to you? Oh, this. Well, see that Brachiosaurus down the way? Yeah. Well, he didn't see me before I knew it. Splat! He stepped on you? Yeah, but only for a few minutes. And you should see it. There's a park ranger Andy shaped hole in the ground. And thus ends another adventurous day at T-Rex Ranch. And the day just started. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. Oh, good point. I'll fix that. Breakfast for two? Where did you get those? I gotta hand it to it. Oatmeal was the best decision for breakfast. Oh, I'm telling you, boy. Everybody loves oatmeal. Be careful, though, because it's hot. It better cool quick. I'm worried about that missing stego. Uh, well, you should worry more about your stomach growling than the stegosaurus. You should eat up. I wasn't me. I think that's your stomach growling, not mine. Wait, that's not the sound of a stomach growling. That's the sound of a sick dino. <gasps> the sound of a sick stegosaurus, to be exact. <gasps> to the T-Rex one. Dino first aid kit, ready to go. Dr. Dino Doctor, at your service. Now, let's see what we got. Oh, 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 look, that's not it. Dude, what's that? Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Stegosaurus mess. That is one big pill. For one big sick stegosaurus. Let's go. Sorry, the tools of a dino doctor are potentially very dangerous. You have to be quiet. Quiet? I can be quiet. I can be super quiet. In fact, I could be the most quiet person. The, the Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus! It's coming from over there. From inside the raptor paddock. Hmm. That's uh, unfortunate. What do we do now? Well, you know the motto of a dino doctor? Through rain or sleet or snow, when duty calls, we must go. I think that's the milk. Uh, agree to disagree. Let's go. Coast is clear. Quiet back there. Shh, quiet back there. What did we do? Come here! That's it! Run! There she is! She looks so sick! How are we gonna get her to eat this giant pill? No sweat. It is gonna be smooth sailing from here on out. 
Uh, okay, I was wrong. We're in trouble. It's so is that snake source if the T Rex doesn't move. What do we do? Not today, Mr. T Rex. We're only here to help our six Doug friend, and you're making our job very difficult. Now, if you don't mind, please stand to the side so we can do our job. Thank you very much. Me neither. I thought for sure you were gonna end up in that T-Rex's gullet. Let's go get that dino her mess. Indubitably. How are you gonna get her to eat it? A little demonstration. Watch. Okay, let me. You sick But eat yum, 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 no. Feel better! Frolic away! I don't think she's buying it. Huh. Yeah. I mean, nobody likes the taste of medicine. But you know what everybody does love? <gasps> Oatmeal! Where are you keeping them? Oh. Okay, you're gonna like this better. I promise. Okay, enjoy. Not yet. Watch this. Little slingshot action. Nice shot. She's eating it. But she's feeling better already. Yeah. Let's take a couple steps back and give her some space. Yeah, she might be uh, feeling too good. Come on. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That looks like it hurt. Are you okay? Ah, well, you get used to it. Thus ends another adventurous day at T Rex Ranch. What do you mean, Edge? You haven't even had our breakfast yet. Hmm. I think I can fix that. <gasps> Where'd you get those? <laughs> It's so hot! Will this heat wave never end? Can we at least go under some shade? Just a few more feet. We can go back inside once we try my new gadget. Uh, I feel like a vampire. I proudly present my latest invention, the Veggie Fixer 6000. Uh. That's not the invention we need. We, we need a fan, or an air conditioner, or a fan with an air conditioner on it, or an air conditioner with a fan in it that blows cold air to an air conditioned fan. Actually, we do need it, because now rappers will only eat fried chicken. Yeah, ever since they stole our fried chicken from our last picnic. Can't really blame them, though. True, but it's not very good for you, which is why you use the veggie fixer to make them healthy again. Demonstrate. First, you grab your broccoli, place it into here, turn the knob, and then press the button. Voila! Fried chicken! Well, how be? Oh, smells like broccoli. Well, it looks like fried chicken, which means the raptor will eat it before they knew they had a healthy meal. Uh, even I wouldn't fall for that, and I have the world's record for gullibility. Well, at least that's what they tell me. Ashley, uh, I think you should go back to Dino HQ and watch the baby dinos. I can finish this on my own. Good plan. I am most helpful when I'm not around to help. See you later. It does smell like broccoli. Oh, it's so hot out there. If it gets any hotter, I'm a scream. 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 No, I scream. What a brilliant idea. I scream. Let's see. Oh, nothing better on a hot day than a good old-fashioned bowl of ice cream. 
Oh, looks delicious. <laughs> oh, hi, Sneaker. You want some ice cream too? I'm not sure I should give a baby dino ice cream. What would Park Ranger Asher say? Don't give baby dinos ice cream. Yeah, I don't like that answer either. Let me try to imagine it again. Go ahead, give the baby dino ice cream. Eh, that's much better. Hey, that's not what it said. Uh, no time to argue, gotta go ice cream melting. <laughs> okay, Sneaker, let me get you some ice cream. Raptor's approaching the food. He's taking it. No, he's not. He's smelling something else. And he's running away. Gosh, something else caught his attention. I wonder what. This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. Refreshing. I'm coming, I'm coming. Almost done. Put the lid on, and put the ice cream back in the freezer. Here we go. A nice bowl of ice cream. Hey, who ate the ice cream? Did you eat the ice cream? No, oh, you couldn't get up there. Huh, is it possible I ate it and I don't remember? Seems possible to me. Hmm, well, if I ate it and I don't remember, then it doesn't count. Time for more ice cream. Here we go, here we go, here we go! And there we went. Oh, 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 look at this. This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I hope I remember eating it this time. Woo perfect. Put a little spoon in and, you know, could really use some sprinkles. No. Why don't I carry sprinkles on me? All right, next time, I'll put that on the list. <laughs> and... What the? Now I know I did not eat that bowl of ice cream. Did I? Hey, did you eat the ice cream in that bowl? How? I'm in your imagination. Hey, I'm not accusing, I'm just asking. Just get more ice cream. That's the best idea you had all day. At least you're not trying to talk me into eating that broccoli fried chicken like you are those raptors. No, there's no signs of raptors at all. Maybe Park Ranger Andy was right. Maybe it's not too hot to do it today. Where could they possibly be going? <laughs> now I specifically remember not eating that one. We have an ice cream eater around here somewhere. Oh. Who is eating all of my ice cream? <laughs> Can I me? Can I you? From your back so soon. Yeah, the raptors wouldn't eat any of my broccoli fried chicken. Probably because it's so hot. It is, but is it hot enough to steal a baby dino's ice cream? What are you talking about? Let me smell your breath. Does it smell like ice cream? That's because I didn't have any. Does it make sense? Look, I come over here and I take an empty bowl. And I bring the empty bowl to the freezer. And I take out the ice cream. Put the ice cream down on the counter. 
and I take the ice cream scoop, and I scoop us some ice cream. Ooh, look at that ice cream. I don't lick the spoon, even though I really want to. Fill up the bowl, and then put the lid back on the ice cream, and I put it back. And now I have my delicious bowl of ice cream, and I walk it over to the table, and look, the ice cream's gone. What? It's just gone like that? It's just like that. Who is stealing all our ice cream? I'm not so sure. That means we have to solve this problem scientifically. Does that involve eating ice cream? No, but it does include bait and observing, just like I did with the raptors and my Veggie Fixer 6000. That's not as fun as eating ice cream. Well, first of all, we need more ice cream. Way ahead of you. Hey, ice cream service. That's your service. Hey, hey, thanks a lot, my friend. Good to see ya. You think that's safe? Getting a delivery guy to a secret ranch? Did you see that guy's face? Look trustworthy to me. If you say so. Now, for step one, set the trap. Step two, hide and watch. Mm, I would love an ice cream sundae. Huh, but today's Friday. So? So if you want ice cream sundae, you gotta wait two more days. How about we just observe in silence? It's an ice cream asaurus! That's why they're not eating from my invention, because you stuffed them with ice cream. And they didn't even thank me. How many of them you think there are? Let's look. Let's go. Ah! 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 That's a lot of ice cream of sources. Maybe we should just give them ice cream. Maybe you're right. But now we're out of ice cream. Way ahead of ya. Ice cream delivery, five minutes or it's free. Here you go. Thank you. My pleasure. And by the way, you got a lot of raptors out here. Uh, you trust that delivery guy? He looks honest to me. Now, how about some ice cream? Here you go. <laughs> Are you sure it's okay to get baby dinos ice cream? Well, if it's okay for Rogers, then it's probably okay for a baby Parasaurolophus. Eat up. That's it. I'll use the Veggie Face for 6,000, but change broccoli into ice cream. I knew you'd figure it out. Now, can we please eat our ice cream? I've been waiting for this all day. Sure. I'm excited for ice cream, too. Hey, what about me? Yeah, what about him? And get me some, too, please. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Whoa, Park Ranger! Ooh, Park Ranger OB, man, with your man, you're all like out of breath there and everything. There's a raptor outside and it was chasing me and I barely even got away and... Yeah! Wow, that's a good thing you got away, man. You know, all these raptors and T-Rex running around. Ever since the Dynamaster left, the raptors and the T-Rex took down our paddock fences. Yeah. Man, it's just been complete chaos around here, hasn't yeah. it? Hey, what are you doing? I was just checking our supplies to make sure we'll be good to hang out here at T-Rex Ranch while that virus is out there everywhere. What do you mean? So there's this germ that's out there and it causes some people to get really sick. So we gotta make sure we don't catch it because we don't wanna risk giving it to the dinosaurs. That could be really bad. What? And they've even closed dino school. What? Just to make sure everybody stays safe. Oh, yeah. And doctors are asking everybody to stay home so they don't catch it or oh. spread it. Okay, so how long are we gonna be cooped up in Dino HQ? Well, we really don't know yet how long we're gonna be here because there's all these scientists, they're doing research to try to beat this bug. 
but it could be a little while, so we just gotta hang out here, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, what can we do to prevent getting it? Well, now that you mention it, there are a couple of really important things we can do, like using the proper sneeze and cough procedure. I bet you didn't even know there was a procedure for sneezing and coughing, did you? Oh, no. Okay, it goes like this. One, two, three. <laughs> like that, huh? Okay, let me try. Yeah, that's it, perfect, just like that, man. Yeah. Okay, you go great, you got that one down. And then the other thing you can do is make sure you wash your hands often and for 20 seconds. Ooh, 20 seconds. Yeah, you're gonna turn on the water, do a little soap, and count to 20. Or you can just sing the happy birthday song twice, okay? Oh. Happy birthday to you, nah, happy nah, birthday nah, to nah, you. Nah, nah, nah. Happy birthday, what, what, what's wrong with that? I man? got a way better idea. You got a better idea, what are we gonna do? How about, we have to do dinosaur stuff. So let's sing the T-Rex Ranch song. Oh yeah, I bet part of that'll be 20 seconds. Yeah. Okay, here, why don't you come over here and wash your hands. Okay. How tiny, okay? All right, on your mark, set, go. T-Rex Ranch is the place I wanna be. All the creatures running free, come join me. T-Rex Ranch has a mighty dino roar from our favorite dinosaur. Come join me! Ha, ha, ha! Now you're getting it. Ha, ha, ha! Come join me! Ha, ha, ha! Come join me! Hey! That was right at 20 seconds there. Yeah! Okay, there you go. All right. So, now you know how to practice good hygiene, okay? Yeah! Okay, man, let's go sit down over here and figure out what to do. Yeah. All right. Huh. That was good work, practicing good hygiene there, okay? Yeah, but what if we still get sick? You know, it could happen, I guess, but the doctors are saying that most people who catch it don't get very sick, okay? Oh, okay. And they're gonna be fine, but you know what? We gotta be careful because older people can get really sick. Which means we gotta watch out for the dinosaurs because they're like 65 million years old. That's really old, okay? We don't want them to get sick now, okay? Yeah. Alright, so let's just keep washing our hands okay. and we'll be good, okay? Yeah. okay? Important thing though is not to panic. Yeah. So what are we gonna do? That's a good question. I hadn't really thought that far ahead. Let's see. Ooh, I know. What? Got an idea. Here, let's go check it out over here. Check this out right here. We're gonna use this right there. Hey. Okay, got a little bag there, okay? And then you need these shish kebab sticks right here. What? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, some, real hot dogs or something? No, 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 okay. And then pick a color here, one of these food colorings there, okay? Hmm. Great. Great, okay, ha. put that back. Okay, that'll work. Hmm. Let's what go try this doing? experiment, huh? Oh, okay, let's go. We're gonna need some water for this experiment. Water. So let's use this water hose right over here, okay? Okay. Yeah, there we go, right there. Watch out with that thing, man. Okay, wait, yeah, oh yeah, we gotta put the water in the bag, okay? All right, here we go. Ah! 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 It's got me in the season! Ah! Go. Okay, that's good, I think. Now, you got the food coloring there, huh? Yep. Just keep turning it. Be careful. That stuff will stain. Yeah. All right, here. Put about two drops in there. All right, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Now. Great. Ooh, yeah, there we go. It looks like grape juice now, doesn't it? Oh. But you got to shake it up, okay? There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah, what are you going to do? I am going to put this stick through this bag. No! And it's if not you, going to leak. Yes it is. No, it's not. Watch this. Here we go. Don't do it. Huh? Heck yeah. Huh? All the way through, huh? What? All right. Yeah. You want to try one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try that one there. There. Wow. there. <laughs> how about, how about, how about, Actually, how about yeah. we do this? How about we do one kind of an upward angle there? There we go. There we go. <laughs> there. Look at that. Okay, you got one more left here. All right. Uh, oh, wait. Now you're up in the atmosphere there. Okay. <laughs> the atmosphere. Okay, yeah. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Oh, huh? So cool. Okay. You want to know why it doesn't leak? Why? Because this bag is made out of what's called a polymer. 
okay? That's what this plastic is. It's like molecules that are all connected together in a long chain. It kind of looks like spaghetti if you could actually see it. It'd be like a whole bunch of spaghetti, and then you put the sticks in between all the spaghetti like that, okay? Oh, like yeah. that. And it makes a seal around it so it doesn't leak. Oh, yeah. The problem is we made a hole. So when we pull it out, watch what happens. Let's go over here. I don't want to put this on the patio. Here. What do you mean? All right, you want to pull one of those bad boys yeah. out? Okay. What? Uh, yeah, the water's oh. coming out now because, whoa, whoa. there you go. <laughs> That's because you left a hole between the spaghetti. The last one. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! There we go. All right, that's a pretty cool experiment, isn't it? Huh? Yeah! Okay. But for some reason, it's making me hungry. Hungry? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about that. I got it taken care of there in the pantry in the kitchen. Ooh. Let's take this inside and go have some okay, food. Let's go. Good, good, good. All right, check this out. Looky here. Whole pantry full of beans right there. Okay? We're going to have all the beans we need to wait this thing out here at T Rex oh, Ranch, okay? No. This is going to be stinky time at T Rex Ranch. Yeah, I guess it could be a stinky time. <gasps> hey, look. It's tiny. Tiny? The baby Apatosaurus. Yeah. I forgot to feed the baby dinosaurs today. Oh. Okay. You know what? This could be a problem feeding them while this is all going on. Yeah. We better get outside and come up with a plan, okay? Come okay. on, let's go. Let's go. Ha. All right, Park Ranger will be. Let's go feed these baby dinosaurs. Let's get taken go. care of here. Okay? Wait a minute. What, 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 what? I thought we weren't supposed to go near the dinosaurs because we might give them the germ. Yeah, you're right. That could be bad. If I'm, I don't think we've got the germ, but you're right. We don't want to give it to them. So you know what we do? What? We stay six feet away from them, OK? Oh! This is like from one tip of my fingers to the other tip. That's about six feet. So you yeah. need to keep your distance from the babies when you're feeding them. And then that way, they, even if we did have it, they won't catch it then, yeah. OK? Wait, that would make feeding a lot harder. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's going to make feeding them pretty hard. Yeah. We can't get up close to the dinosaurs yeah. to feed them. We've got to do this. We've got a plan. We've got a plan. We've got a plan. I got an idea! What? How about we feed the baby dinosaurs here? Oh, here in the Dino garage? Dino HQ, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, I know. We'll take these buckets here. We oh, have the feed yeah. in them. And we'll just put these over here hmm. like that. We'll make like a feeding station, like then come right up. Here, we're just buckets. There we go. Here okay. We need dino buckets. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why? How are we gonna get them to come back to Dino HQ? Oh, haven't really thought of that yet. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Hey, looky here. Ooh. These are the dino lures we've been working on. Wow. We'll go out, and I, you know how they love to respond to shiny things. Yeah. Okay, let's go out. We'll see if we can lure them back, okay? Yeah, right, let's go. Let's go. See any dinosaurs anywhere? Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh man, Just watch out! Man. Okay. I think there's a thunderstorm coming. We better hurry up and find these babies. Uh oh. Huh? The fork in the road, road, huh? What do we do now, huh? What do you think? Oh, that storm's getting close. Yeah. We better hurry up and find these babies and lure them back to Dino HQ before the storm gets here. Yeah. We'll never find them after the rain. Okay, what are we doing? There's only one thing we can do. What? You have to go that way, and I have to go that way. Okay, let's see if you can find a baby dinosaur. Here we go. Okay. Let's get ready. Okay, baby dinosaur. Come here. Come here. You know you're out here. Look, it's a raptor. Oh, come on, raptor. Oh, yeah, I know you want it. Yeah. We got to get you inside and feed you before the storm gets here. Yeah, see, it's almost here. Any second now, okay? It's gonna start raining hard. Look, <laughs> it's a baby triceratops. Okay, baby triceratops. A raptor. Raptor, oh, look what I got here. You want your little toy, huh? Yeah, no, no, over here. Oh, see? Yeah, you... yeah, come here. Follow me. You want me to hold up. Come on, you know, you want to follow me back to Dino HQ, okay? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, 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 come on. No, yeah. Don't, don't lose, don't lose attention on the little shiny thing there, okay? Come on, Triceratops, let's go. You're going fast! Woo! 
Ooh, ooh, come on, stay with me, Triceratops. Come on, Raptor! Whoa! <gasps> come on, hurry! Quick, hide, 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 hide. hide. They're coming, they're coming. Okay, okay. Here they come. Oh, the cats are coming. Here they are. Yeah, it's working. It is. Close the garage door. Yeah, they're in. Okay, I'll get the garage door. 